Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Galileo said, By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. Here's a good example of that from Bloomberg. U.S. corn farmers defy a scorching summer to grow record crop. So much for the summer of drought and extreme heat in the U.S. that triggered early fears about crop damage. On Thursday, the Department of Agriculture made it official this year's corn harvest was the biggest ever. What they're saying doesn't make any sense. If it actually was a summer of drought and extreme heat, the corn harvest would have been low, not the biggest ever. Reality is that the average summer maximum temperature in the United States this year was below the average since 1895. And the percent of days above 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius was just about average. From about 1910 to 1960, summers in the United States were much hotter than they have been over the past 60 years. Not surprisingly, with the heat, burn acreage in the United States was also much higher prior to 1960. This year was 12th lowest on record. In fact, burn acreage this year was the lowest of the current century. Real droughts don't produce record corn crops. This is what the Great Plains looked like during the 1930s. People were starving around the world, including the United States, during the global droughts of the 1930s. One of the worst global droughts occurred in the year 1878. Tens of millions of people died in India, China, and South America. Drought does not produce record corn crops or abundance. U.S. corn yields have been steadily increasing for 80 years. This is due to increasing carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere, better farming methods, and the weather has generally been more favorable over the last 60 years. People lost in their climate fantasies are living nice, comfortable lives thanks to fossil fuels. They parrot lies about record heat and drought, and then they get caught in a paradox of their own dishonesty. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for more than 15 years. You can visit him and his large family on the web at realclimatescience.com.